dream is coming true And I just fall in love again Just one touch of it It happens every time And then I'll go back Just fall in love again And when I do And I can't help myself I fall in love with you
bakmu. I don't think there's much need of a microphone, but I will use it. So what a wonderful sight y'all y'all make. These two wonderful people who are going to get married in the Catholic Church. Uh, Alden Joseph and Melissa Alturas. What a uh, beautiful couple y'all look also, made for each other. <laughs> and uh, this location also makes this sacrament uh, of marriage more beautiful with its stunning beauty of the uh, shot of a river down there. Uh, that uh, river is uh, famous for the shot of a jet yeah. boating. And so this is really, a, I've never been here, this is a really stunning scenery uh, to have a wedding. And so may God be with you all during this time as he has been with you all this time. And uh, actually, a wedding is not only a wedding of these two people, it's also a wedding of families. The family of Alden's parents, Delphine, uh, uh, Delphine and Alice. Uh, where's Delphine and Alice? Delphino and Alice. Delphino and Alice. And Leonardo and Conchita. Uh, great to be having you, you, all of you here together in uh, this uh, sacrament of holy matrimony where this Two young people uh, are going to promise uh, in uh, doing the correct things by promising before the church and uh, this community, before the church that is me and this community, their marriage vows. So we will be with them. We have come here to be with them, but also not now, but always. And hence, uh, let us be seated as I say the opening prayer. Uh, don't, you can sit during the opening prayer, yeah. Let us be seated. Yeah. Yeah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, I've already introduced you, and, but at the same time we have to remember that in a marriage, in all marriages for that matter, uh, some things place, take place which, uh, which bother us, which upset us, which sort of uh, create uh, uh, sometimes not such a good feeling. And, but God is there if you ask Him. And God is always there, will be with you. And hence let us ask forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in creating the human race willed that man and wife should be one, we pray in a bond of inseparable love that these your servants, Aldin and Melissa, who are to be united in the covenant of marriage, so that as you make their love fruitful, they may become by your grace witnesses to charity through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now, dear friends, uh, we have the first stage of this, the liturgy of the word, and the reading will be from, uh, from Genesis. Uh, read by Leah Lampat Pape. A reading, first reading, a reading from the book of Genesis 2, 18 to 24. 
The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what we, call, what we could call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave name to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all wild animals, but none proved to be suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up his, its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. The one should, shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm will be read by Anthony Alturas. Responsorial psalm. Response for all. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his heritage. Yes, the Lord's eyes are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love. Response. The Lord is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. Response. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. Response. The earth is full of goodness of the Lord. Very nice. Uh, we have now the second reading read by Christina Alturas. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the body is not for immortality, but for the Lord. And the Lord is for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Whoever is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with them. Avoid immortality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body. But the immoral person sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God and that you are not your own? For you have been purchased at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All who live in love, live in God, and God in them. Hallelujah.
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Jesus said, from the beginning of creation, God, them, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one. So they are, they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. This is the good news of the Lord. Thanks be to you. Please be seated. Be seated. Don't worry. Dear friends, uh, short uh, uh, homily, very short, because I'm no expert on marriage. <laughs> because you know why. <laughs> and I'm nobody to talk with these two people who want to get married. <laughs> because I've never brought up a child or something or uh, lived with a person close enough. <laughs> so excuse my, uh, what do you call, incompetence or inefficiency in this matter. <laughs> but I will give you certain uh, stray thoughts of mine, personal. <laughs> and so, dear friends, uh, you know, there was a famous saint in Europe, uh, the woman saint called Saint Catherine of Siena. And what she said was, was, be who God meant you to be, and you will set the world on fire. And hence, this young couple, Aldin and Melissa, lovely young couple, I must say, or in the, are here to be married, to, to come together to, and to light the world on fire also. Because they are doing what God uh, wants them to do. And they will be uh, for each other what, what they were meant for each other, to complement and to strengthen each other's union and love through this sacrament. And hence, this uh, union today is something which is threatened actually. I'm sorry to say, today people are, you know, individual. I have to be that. I have to be that. I don't care for anything. I care for myself. And that is the mentality. And in this mentality, these two young people are showing a counter uh, to think to countercultural thing to that, I mean a uh, gesture, and that is getting married in the church. And so our blessings are with them. <laughs> and uh, our, uh, our blessings are with them, and our, also our company, our encouragement. There will be problems in any marriage. You, we all know it. Uh, each person is different and each person is uh, unique. You are different and unique. Remember Alden, don't worry about it. <laughs> this is part of it. <laughs> and so, because in a marriage also, this type of accidents happen. Yeah. And we should not take it personally against each other. And so, there has to be, in order to live uh, well and happily, you there has to be a transformation also of each other. Two of you will transform each other into something better people, into something better. And so, dear friends, we are here to witness this great union of transformation. But that transformation should not be a reformation. What is a reformation, you know? A reformation of another person is domination, nothing else. You want that person to be like what you want her or him to be. And that cannot be because each one is made different by God himself in his image. And so, dear friends, I don't want to go on further. That transformation is part of it and it is painful. Painful to forgive, painful to accept, painful to understand. So these are the things they are with you. And these people have shown us 
together because they have lived together for some time uh, and hence they have shown us they, that they are capable of doing it and the grace of God is with them. Amen. Okay. You just have to, you know what to answer, no? Very simple. Uh, otherwise, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, just come, be on the right. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, very simple. Yeah. Just page, ah, the page number is not the right of marriage, it's called. Okay, my dear friends, you have come together in this place so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's priest and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in a mutual and lasting fidelity. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intention. Alden and Melissa, have you come here freely, wholeheartedly and without reservation to give yourself to each other in marriage? We, we have. have. Very good. Are you prepared to follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? We will. Very good. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of the church and Christ? We will. Yes. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His church. Okay. One minute. You have to say, okay. Uh, the I, Alden. I, Alden. Take you, Melissa. Take you, Melissa. For my lawful wife. For my lawful wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Okay. Your turn, Melissa. I, I, Melissa, Melissa, take you Alden, take you Alden, to be my lawful husband, to be my lawful husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or worse, for better or worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, until death do us part, until death do us part. You have declared your consent before God and before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessing. What God has joined, man must not separate or divide. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, rings. Now we can have the ceremony of the blessing and exchange of the rings. Okay. May the, may the Lord bless his ring. So that those who wear them may remain utterly faithful to each other. May they do your will always and uh, together in goodwill and love. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Okay, Alden, uh, take her ring first. So, so. <laughs> Melissa, say, repeat after me. Melissa. Melissa, receive this ring. Receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Put the ring on it. Thank you. Very good. Oh, she's so happy. I'm, I'm very healthy. <laughs> happy, happy. Happy. <laughs> See the happiness. 
Okay, now you take his ring. You have to give it. Yeah. Alden. <laughs> Alden. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now we. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Uh, now we have the candle ceremony. Oh, the candle. It's like your marriage. It, it, it has to uh, weather the uh, wind and the rain. <laughs> okay. Alden and Melissa. Does it light? Very good. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, get that lighter. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, very good, very good. The candles are lit. That means it is going to work wonderfully <laughs> <laughs> because it has worked in the uh, in this terrible uh, windy weather. Okay, Alden and Melissa, the candles are lit for you. The candles represent the light from God that you will need to guide you. Throughout, throughout the rest of your married life. The candles also express the silent promise that uh, you will continue to be a light uh, and, and the warmth for each other in this life. Okay. Now we have uh, the next, uh, we have the veil ceremony. The veil. Yes. Have a seat, have a seat. Yeah, kneel down. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, who is going to put the veil? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Alden and Melissa. At Baptism, you were clothed with the white garment, symbolizing new life of purity and joy in the Lord to which the risen, the risen Christ has called you. We clothe you again with this precious garment as you enter into the new phase of your life with God. Wear it unstained and let the joy of the Spirit shine forth to you and your children, whom the Lord's loving design will bring into your life. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Now we have the cord ceremony. The cord symbolizes the love of God which brings your hearts and soul together. May your love grow stronger and bind you closer together through years from here to eternity. We ask this from God the Father to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Very good. You all are looking wonderful, awesome. My dear friends, let us pray to the Lord that he will make known to Alden and Melissa the riches of their vocation of marriage. Now we have what is called the prayers of the faithful. Please come forward. That is, will be read by Anna. Hi. Hi. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That through the gift of the Holy Spirit, their lives may be lived in love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer that God will help them to make a home together 
and grace her with hospitality, friendship, and prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will make their love an expression of His creative love and bless them with children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That they may minister the grace of marriage to each other in their joys and sorrows in their hopes and disappointments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may reveal to the world God's love for the human family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the grace of marriage will be renewed in all Christian families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you are a God of love. Through your Son, you have taught us to love one another. May Alden and Melissa, in their marriage, take Christ's love into the world. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Take a photo now. <laughs> okay, just remain kneel for a minute. Let him take a this angle, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can remove the veil and the cord. Okay. Because now we will have the liturgy of the sacrament. That is the liturgy of the Eucharist. Yeah. We may remove the symbols, but the spiritual understanding has to be there as forever. It is not gone, <laughs> just because the veil and the cord uh, are gone. <laughs> so, uh, may God bless you. And now we have uh, uh, the liturgy of the Eucharist. We'll be beginning with the offertory. Okay, please, please sit it. Bless the you Lord God of all creation. To your goodness, we have this bread and wine to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become our spiritual food and drink. Lord God, we ask you to see us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, especially Aldin and uh, Melissa, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His church. Let us pray. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offering made on the occasion of the sealing of the sacred bond of marriage. And just as your goodness is its origin, may your providence guide its course. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
is to be right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For in Him you have made a new covenant with your people, so that as you have redeemed man and woman by the mystery of Christ's death and resurrection, so in Christ you might make them partakers of divine nature and joint heirs with Him of heavenly glory. In union of husband and wife, here, we, here it is the husband Alden and wife Melissa, you give a sign of Christ's loving gift of grace to us, so that the sacrament we celebrate might draw us back more deeply into the wondrous design of your love. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, uh, and with, without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of our might, heaven and earth are filled with your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he. Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time you were betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael and Colin, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may deserve to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray in confidence to our Father in heaven, saying the prayer uh, <coughs> that Jesus himself has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass us. And lead us not into temptation. And deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you and everybody. <laughs> Let us offer each other the sign of God's love and peace to each other. <laughs> peace with you, Alden. Peace with you, Melissa. Dear friends, Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Dear friends in the Lord and dear Alden and Melissa, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who come to take away the sins of this world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, not worthy to receive. But only say the word, not soul shall be. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. body of Christ. Amen. Just keep it, uh, I'll get you the wine also. The body of Christ. Sit down, sit down. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Dear friends, we have come to the end of this liturgy. And uh, before that, we have the final prayers. Uh, special prayer for what is called the nuptial blessing after that. Nuptial blessing is a special um, wedding blessing for the wedding couple. <laughs> here it's uh, here, Alden and Melissa. And uh, then uh, after that will be the uh, f blessing the f and of the, uh, the final blessing and then the signing of the register to signify that uh, these people have been married in the church. This is the church register, <laughs> marriage register. So we will just uh, go get on with it. Let us pray.
by the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, accompany with your loving favor what in your providence you have instituted so as to make one heart in love those you have already joined in this holy union and refreshed with the one bread and the one chalice to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters and dear especially Alden and Melissa, let us humbly pray to the Lord that on, that on this his servants now married in Christ he may mercifully pour out the blessing of his grace and make of one heart in love those he has joined in this holy covenant. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable part of the man, that they might live no longer as two, but one flesh, and, and taught that you were pleased to make one uh, must never be di what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to a man and the companion in companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the blessing not forfeited by original sin nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants Alden and Melissa joined together in marriage who asked to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour out your love into their hearts that they may remain ever faithful in, marriage, in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide uh, in your daughter Melissa, especially for Melissa now, and let her always follow the example of those holy women who praises are sung in the scriptures. May a husband, Alden, entrust his heart to her, uh, so that uh, acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for the church. And now, Lord, we implore you, you may, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments and make one in the flesh. May they be blameless all in all they do and with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witnesses to Christ before all may, all may be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children and grant that last, reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace and joy of Christ. Now we have the signing of the register. Followed by, first uh, we will uh, ask the bride and the bridegroom to come forward to sign the register. Followed by the two witnesses. Take the photo. No, I'll then, yeah. Come on, I'll then first. Okay, now. Okay. Fine, yeah. Just write your name in block letter below so that I know who it is. And then you write your address. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take the photo. Dear friends in the Lord. <laughs> Alden is going to kiss the bride first. <laughs> Melissa, come on, Alden. <laughs> Don't hesitate. You have done it. You have had practice. One more, 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 longer. <laughs> one more? No, 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 they won't. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and now I give you Mr. and Mrs. Chagas. Yeah. All in Jagas. Yeah.
and uh, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Melissa Tag Tagger. All I could ever need It's like you walked out of my wildest dreams Yeah, I got you, honey, and you got me Yeah, I got you, honey, and you got me yeah, I got all I could ever need I swear you walked out of my wildest dreams Yeah, I got you 